Three, two, one. Hello everyone, New Vegas Ranger. Welcome back to Talking Thursday. It's been a while since I've done these, hasn't it? I mean, it's probably been about two or three months. I've been busy with school, but now I'm just going to start doing them again. So let's start with something that happened today. Um, Ubisoft has announced that they're not going to be putting out a Assassin's Creed for this year. Uh, they said they want to take time to work on uh, like the production and the gameplay mechanics and everything. They said they're not going to make one. Plus, there's a movie coming out. They, I guess they feel like that's enough. Um, what I think about this is that it's a good idea, basically. I feel like... I feel like Assassin's Creed's kind of becoming like Call of Duty. It's nice that they take a step and stop. And I think that they actually did learn from Unity. They learned with Unity from Syndicate, from Rogue. And I think this is another thing that they've kind of learned that maybe every pushing one out every single year is not a good thing. They're finally listening to people. And I think this is this this is a good idea. Basically I I, I still like Assassin's Creed. I don't think it's that bad of a series yet. I still feel like there's a good amount of effort put into it, not like Call of Duty. Um, so, But I know people are getting tired of it with it coming out every single year. People are getting a little bored. I, I understand why people don't want to play it anymore, but I personally still enjoy the games. Except for Unity, because Unity was awful, as we all know and we all agree on. So, I think this is the step in the right direction for uh, Ubisoft to do that they, I think this will help them in the end keep the series alive a bit because it is going to get worse if they kept doing this every single year. We're going to have problems that come up with uh, Call of Duty where things just look bad or things don't work right. Now, when I would be happy with every other year. I think every other year is a very good, uh, is just as good as every year, honestly. I mean, for, yes, from a money-making standpoint, it's not as good, but from making a quality game that people will play, even after that initial stretch, that's a, it's a good investment. So I think they are doing the right thing in releasing this game another time. Um, I, that's pretty much it, really. I, this is going to be a short one because it was just a small little thing I saw that I said, hey, Talking Thursday can be done on this. But... That's it, basically. I mean, I do, I love, I do love uh, Assassin's Creed. I think it's a great series. It's had its up and downs. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, Assassin's Creed One, meh. Assassin's Creed Three, meh. Unity, awful. Uh, but at the same time, it's had its major ups. Assassin's Creed Two, Assassin's Creed Four, Assassin's Creed Rogue. I, it, they've, you know, it's been a very mixed bag series. But you can kind of see it start doing that uh, as you see the series progress. You can kind of see where things went wrong and how they tried to fix them. And I think they learned a lot from Unity about maybe not trying to get a game out every year is the best ideal. So, uh, while we're on this topic of Assassin's Creed, uh, while we're on the topic of Assassin's Creed, why don't we just go ahead and talk about the movie, too, to kind of make this a bit bigger. So, um... I don't really know how to feel about the movie, because frankly I haven't seen it. They haven't put out a trailer yet, so I really don't have a lot of feelings about it at the time, at this time. Um, I might talk about it later. I don't know. But I think Michael Fassbender will be a fairly good actor for Altair. I think it fits him, or Desmond, whichever one he plays, I can't remember. Either way, actually, he'd be pretty, he's pretty fine as either role. From what I've seen him in, he would work well for playing Desmond or Altair. I don't, again, I don't, I'm not sure which. I think he's playing Desmond, now that I think about it. In which case, he, yeah, he's a good actor for Desmond, which I'm really hoping he makes it better than the in-game Desmond, because, let's be honest, I like the, uh, the modern-day assassin parts of Assassin's Creed, but I hated Desmond. A lot of people did. He was very whiny, very annoying, I mean, it sucked what happened, but he got treated very badly. It just, it wasn't a, it wasn't a good character. So I'm hoping that they will change that with this new movie. They'll make him a little bit more likable, less cocky and arrogant and sarcastic. Well, and, and if he is going to stay that way, make him more of an enjoyable, cocky, sarcastic asshole than just annoying grating, which he was. 
Uh, frankly, I did not miss his his I did not miss his role in, a, in Black Flag. I've not missed him since. I felt like the fact that they focused on the side characters who I liked a lot more was was a very good change in the timeline and like the story where they started focusing more on the side characters. Even though sadly, I can't tell you their names other than Sean. Yeah, Sean's the ginger. I can't. The, I hate that I don't know the names, but I still like the characters. I still think they're f fairly cool. Uh, the Syndicate has this new Russian assassin that's a psycho, which is hilarious. Uh, I thought that was always I thought that was kind of funny when she was in there. Um, I would do kind of wish that they would put a little bit more emphasis on the modern. I still feel like, feel like that's a very lacking thing that they want it to be there, but they never give it enough effort. That sounds weird, but that's the truth. They want it there, but they don't want it to be there. And I feel like, they, they've again, they made a good step in Syndicate. They have given us far more in Syndicate about the main characters. We're learning about what the Templars are doing. Same thing for, actually, it started back in Black Flag, but they're doing it in Syndicate too. Where they're, they're starting to show more of the modern world. And I think that will help it. Uh, to kind of make the world better. Because we, we know it's a historical game, but when you show the modern world, you also need to kind of flesh out that world too. And they're not doing that. And they're, well, they weren't doing it for a while. And now they're doing it. So they have officially, so they've, they're, they're moving in the right step. I feel like since, since Unity, the games have made a lot of steps. Um, they've made, the way I explain it is that they've made medium-sized steps in every direction. They haven't made a big step in one thing and kept the other the same. They've made minor, pretty, pretty decent changes in each thing. And it looks like a, it, but it isn't like as a super big of a change as it was from like, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 from Assassin's Creed 2, where you went from like the very... Jut, jutted climbing to like the very smooth climbing that was a big change and that was like the but that was also like one of the only few things that changed in the game so this get but syndicate you know the combat changed the the movement the grappling hook changed a lot um you have different ways of killing people that's new they're making a lot of little changes that i like that i think are enjoyable and so i'm i i, I feel that the series is improving I'm worried it happened too late, though. That's what I think is happening. People have already been turned off by Unity. They've been turned off since... Some of them have been turned off since 3. And now they're, they're trying to keep that going, and it's just not... It's not working. So I'm hoping that, again, the fact that they've decided to take a break will help to revive the series when they come back. Um, and again, I hope the movie, will, the movie might try to get a little bit more in there. All in all, I'm just saying that I think Assassin's Creed's worth a shot now. I would get, I would skip Unity. Go for Black Flag, go for Rogue, go for Syndicate. If you want a good recent one. Um, but other than that, I, I, I would not recommend any new ones. I know there's a few like really small ones that have been made. The Chronicles, like China and other ones like that. I haven't played them yet. I can't tell you what I think of them. But anyway, that's my big overview of the newer games that I feel like Things are step progressing. Also, I was, and also that why it's a good idea to take a break and a little bit about the movie and just everything Seth is Creed is this video basically. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll be I'll be doing more of these soon. Um, it's been a bit since I've done them, but anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, this is New Vegas Ranger signing out.